Hi, my name is Gil Haberman and I lead product marketing for VMware's BCDR products. VMware has just introduced the VMware vCloud suite, which delivers a complete integrated cloud infrastructure stack that simplifies IT operations while delivering the best SLAs for all applications. I'd like to provide you with a closer look at software-defined data center services at the heart of the suite, focusing on vCenter Site Recovery Manager, our disaster recovery management product that complements vSphere to enable simple, affordable, and reliable disaster protection for all your virtualized applications. Traditional recovery plans are complex to set up. They must provide for end-to-end -end recovery involving a large number of steps that need to be coordinated across various applications instances, hosts, networks, and storage, involving multiple teams. These recovery plans are usually captured in complicated runbooks, which are often very error-prone and quickly fall out of sync. With Site Recovery Manager, setting up and maintaining recovery plans is much, much simpler. Through an interface that is tightly integrated with vCenter, you simply select the VMs to protect, map them to resources at the recovery site, and specify the recovery boot sequence. Site Recovery Manager automates the entire site recovery and migration process. When initiating a disaster failover, business services are automatically recovered with limited or no manual intervention. By minimizing the risk inherent to manual processes, disaster failover can be executed much faster and with high predictable recovery time objectives, RTOs. With Site Recovery Manager, failover testing is non-disruptive to production systems and therefore can be performed frequently. SRM provides you with a detailed report of the test outcomes, including the RTO achieved, so you can be confident that your organization's disaster protection indeed meets your business objectives. In addition to disaster recovery, SRM is often used to simplify and automate planned site migrations, for example, for global load balancing. Now, SRM requires an underlying replication technology to move files across sites. It supports vSphere application for simple and cost-efficient replication, and a broad set of storage-based replication products from VMware's storage partners, enabling you to choose the best replication for your specific needs. Both vSphere application and storage-based application are tightly integrated with SRM through the use of replication adapters. With centralized and automated recovery plans, you can significantly reduce the cost of DR protection. SRM dramatically reduces the complexity associated with updating recovery plans, training teams, and performing DR testing. As disaster recovery is more affordable, your organization can now expand disaster protection to Tier 2 and Tier 3 applications and smaller sites. Also, our new DR to the Cloud services enable organizations with only one site or limited failover capacity to benefit from robust disaster protection. Leading edge cloud service providers now offer you a variety of DR to the Cloud services leveraging SRM and vSphere application. These services enable organizations to have DR protection without the upfront cost associated with building a new site or increasing failover capacity. These capabilities are what makes SRM a core component of the new VMware vCloud suite. Please come back often to VMware Now for news and updates on the latest VMware solutions and products. Check out my What's New video if you'd like to learn more about SRM 5.1. And for in-depth information on all VMware offerings and services, visit VMware.com. Thank you for watching.